beautiful people uh welcome to our channel like share and subscribe um so this nigeria eh i don't even know whether na crime kingdom have been awaiting our column um so this pastor and three others were arrested with human score in ogun state uh the police in ogun state have arrested a pastor with the christ uh, liberty evangelism church rosco ian yasi ota Olo was saying and three others in possession for being in possession of uh, human score. Uh, Punch reports that Olu was saying and three others identify as 30 year old Ibrahim, 40 year old Suleiman Ogububi, and 57 year old man Gafari uh, was arrested by men of the state police command in the early hours of Saturday, October 14th. When apprehended, the suspects claimed that they intended to use the score for human rituals. The suspects were arrested following a tip-off from members of the public about the suspects' uh, suspicious movement and activities in the area. One big calabash, one uh, black Toyota Camry car, and one ram was found with the suspects. Um, so guys, let me stop at the stop the news there. Um, so guys, since I was born, let me just tell you, crime is um, crime is, is something that has been unique to Nigeria. Even from the time of slavery, I believe that in the whole West Africa, Nigerians would have been the people that exported the most slaves. And the funny thing is that since our independence, the Nigerian government have not done anything to see how to reduce some of this criminality. Maybe through educating the people, through intervention programs, checking if it's uh, poverty that is causing this thing or it's just pure wickedness, using NGOs, using church bodies and uh, Islamic bodies to stop these uh, human rituals, but it has never stopped. And I noticed that the the these human rituals things is uh, particular in the southwest. You understand? I'm not saying that other tribes in Nigeria don't have their own crimes they commit, but southwest is notorious for 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 human rituals. Southeast sometimes you understand, but southwest is in fact human skull is like they pick it up. Um, you know, when I was young, I also heard of uh, Tokoto in the southeast. You know, I think it was in Imo then. You know, that story made grounds. Was, but there have been many cases in the southwest, I'm telling you. So, what, has it, what is the government doing to stop this madness? Because, you know, this is something that has been happening since I was born. They have, I've never seen any program, whether campaign on TV, whether trying to... Because if you check out most of this crime now, you'll find out that... Is in the is in places where there's extreme poverty or in the rural area so what are they doing are they you know is it maybe if they develop infrastructures people will stop it but there are a lot of high profile nigerians too uh, was it not this man's hotel i've forgotten the place again his hotel a man no, that owns a hotel that uh, used somebody for rituals you understand somebody that came to lodge in this hotel you can imagine that level of madness so imagine if you imagine a, a public building like this, the owner now using it for rituals, and they say the man wanted to contest for king. Then you understand. So it was it was a, a I don't know. They say like he was supposed to be king or something. I don't understand what they were saying then. So I don't know this Nigerian crime, eh? So guys, I don't know this human rituals. How can it be stopped? How how? Somebody should explain to me. What are intervention programs the government can lay down to for this thing to be stopped? Everybody now is a pastor. I think we should have we should have a licensing school for most of these uh, uh, Pentecostal pastors because I've never heard of any Catholic priest engaged in human rituals. It's always pastor, pastor. These days anybody can call himself pastor. I think we should have schools. Federal government should license pastoring schools so that if you don't pass through there, you can't you can't say you're a pastor. All the Pentecostals should come together and form a school. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that it will be regulated. Because this one, everybody just clear, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. We don't know who is real. We don't know who is fake. Anyway, guys, how do you think this madness can be curbed? You know? Sometimes, I hardly hear of human rituals in the north. But I'm sure it happens there. But it's mainly in the southwest. Then, the southeast. But I hardly hear human rituals in the north. Let me know how you think it can be stopped in the comment section.